This video is for new customers using Census AMI and AMR technology. With this tech, there are many types of tools and software that you'll use. One of the most important and frequently used softwares by the field technician is called FieldLogic Tools. FieldLogic Tools is the software used to activate and configure each piece of AMI or, AMI or, or AMR hardware in the field. For this video, we're assuming that you already have FieldLogic tools installed with the appropriate configurations. For more information on configurations, please see our previous video on FieldLogic Hub. So you're only going to need two tools for this. Uh, one is your command link, and the other is the handheld device with the FieldLogic tools application. You're going to locate and open the FieldLogic tools application on your handheld. And for this example, we're going to be using an iPhone uh, running that FieldLogic Tools application, which can be found in the Apple uh, App Store. Uh, select the appropriate device configuration for this, uh, for, for this current session. And for this example, we're going to be using one of our customers, Arlington Natural Gas. On the next page, uh, you'll see uh, Connect, Reboot, SmartPoint, and uh, basically an ellipses or three little dots up in the right-hand corner. Um, you'll want to select those three dots up in the right-hand corner, and you'll see a drop-down menu. Uh, we will go ahead and go to Options, and select the FlexNet uh, selection. Ensure, this is how we ensure that the command link uh, is appropriately connected via Bluetooth to uh, your handheld. Uh, so you should see the, a command link, uh, once you power your command link on, you should see the command link populate on your phone here. Uh, it's constantly scanning for an active Bluetooth connection. Uh, FieldLogic Tools is constantly scanning for an active Bluetooth connection. To ensure that uh, we are successfully connected, you're gonna hit the I or the information button and you'll see a screen populate that says get status. Uh, once the connection has succeeded, uh, you'll see a connection succeeded page and you'll select OK uh, at the bottom of your handheld. Go back to your options and then back to the main FieldLogic tool screen. So our next step is to uh, go ahead and connect to the smart point that you're wishing to activate. Uh, the connect, you'll select the FlexNet ID. You can either uh, type it in manually or use the barcode scanner function to populate that ID. And select done. Once you've uh, successfully connected to the smart point, you should see a screen that says um, the FlexNet ID and telling you that the device is not currently active. We will go ahead and select activate. And once again, FieldLogic Tools will go through a series of prompts, uh, in this case, testing the battery to make sure that, that it is good to go. Um, select the appropriate configuration for the smart point uh, that you have in front of you. Uh, in this case, it is a 300 GM with a two foot drive with four dials. So we'll go ahead and select 300 GM, two foot drive, and we'll enter the reading that you see on your smart point um, into the handheld. Uh, for this case, it's a brand new index, so it's going to be all zeros. And select next. Enter your port one uh, meter ID. And that port one just means that there's only one uh, active communication port on each one of the residential smart points. Some of our other smart points, uh, like the 700 GM, have two different ports for two different meters or either a corrected or an uncorrected read. Uh, so we'll go ahead and enter the meter ID. and select done. FieldLogic Tools will apply the appropriate configuration settings um, and activate the smart point to be read at a later date.
Sometimes it takes a couple of minutes, um, especially if you are on an AMI network. Uh, the one we just programmed was for an AMR network. Um, but sometimes with the AMI solutions, um, it can take a little bit of time to locate the towers uh, and establish that connection to make sure that we will have successful communication after the activate uh, is successful. So your next screen is gonna just tell you just that, uh, that the activation is a success. Select OK. And you should see the values uh, that you, for the reading and the meter ID, um, populate on your next screen. Uh, and this is a good opportunity to verify that the information you inputted uh, is actually correct. You have successfully configured a residential gas smart point, a 300 GM uh, smart point to an AC250 meter. And go ahead and select disconnect. And you're done.